Hey everyone, it's been a while, but here I am with another unboxing and review video for another product from Cloud Vocal. Um, this time I've got the Eversync, which is Cloud Vocal's first 5.8 GHz wireless IEM in ear monitoring product, um, which I've been using on its own, but also as a I think it's the perfect match with the iSolo system. I've got the iSolo Prime microphone, um, which is perfect for performers who expect a complete wireless setup. So we'll start off with the unboxing. I've already opened and used this. Um, so it's not me unboxing it, but it's me unboxing it for you to see what comes in the box. So here we have the uh, receiver. You have a volume control there, plug in your headphones there, I'll get into more details um, when I plug this in. You press synchronization button, super small, so as you can see, super tiny, super light. It's got a clip for your belt as well there, it's very sturdy. Just put that there. There's a cloud vocal sticker there that comes in the box. This is the transmitter. Again, Super small, super light, made up of metal, complete metal, um, rubber in the bottom, non-slip rubber in the bottom. Feels super, super, very well made. And then a few other accessories that come with it. It's one of my favorite things that Cloud Vocal do. This is the plug, comes with three different adapters, UK, European and American. To plug it in, it's as simple as that, and it's USB. And then you've got the quick start guide, which I will not go through it fully, but I will explain how I use this system on live events, and I will also link a few um, videos in the description below um, that are relevant. USB to USB-C cable that comes with it. That is the USB power cable. And then the full product manual. So I'll talk through what we can find with this Eversync. What we find with this Eversync and what we can do um, in terms of functions and inputs and outputs. So we've got two inputs, one on the side here, which is a jack input quarter inch jack input and one on the back here which is a mini jack and a quarter inch jack so input one it's right there input two it's right there as you can see it's a quarter inch jack and a mini jack while we're here you can also power it in two different ways which is the nine volt direct current which the cable comes included in the box as I showed earlier but you can also power it with USB-C for the best performance, Cloud Vocal also recommend that you use 9 volt, although it's 100% usable with the USB-C as well. Um, in terms of buttons in the front, it's pretty straightforward. One button to go into the audio um, setup, one button to go into the radio setup, a wheel here that you can turn to select various things and push to select. So you move around um, to find where you want to go and then press the select and also a very handy mute button. Just metal, very durable. It looks like a guitar pedal kind of thing. So you can have this on the floor and if you just need to mute it, you just press there with your foot or with your hand, whatever you prefer. In terms of outputs, we've got a DI out and a through out. The DI out. It's an XLR and the throughout is a jack there. Um, also the broadcasting settings um, allows multiple receivers to simultaneously have 24 bit or 48 kilohertz high quality audio with less than five milliseconds latency, which I think it's amazing. The wireless range is up to hundred feet in line of sight without interference. Now I have used this, but I haven't used it in um, hundred feet, as I said, the receiver here, the body pack, it's very, very small. And I have used this at an event, which were there about 100 people, and I was able to roam around freely for about 20 meters away 
from the transmitter and there was no interference at all. So I haven't trust, tested it in 100 feet, but you know, I trust Cloud Vocal with what they say. So let's get this thing connected. So the first um, way of using this, it's the very simple usual setup where a sound engineer sends you a signal from the mixing desk. Um, and all you need to do is literally with a quarter inch jack, either on the back here, an input two, or on the side here, an input one. I will just go straight on the side here with input one, and I will explain why um, later when I use it with my iSolo Prime. So once that plugged in, then all we need to do is power it up. So in the back here, plug it into nine volts. Screen goes on, I'm not sure if you can see well, but basically it shows you input one or input two. Once there's a signal coming in, you will be able to see um, the lines there. While we're here, I also thought I had a problem with this the first time I've used it because it kept on cutting out every now and then. But what it was is my signal coming in was too high. Um, and I'll show you how to change the input level, kind of like a gain for the input level from here. If it's too, if it's coming in too high, um, it cuts out. It's kind of like a safety feature that Cloud Vocal have built into this um, to help it protecting your ears, basically. So it was cutting out slow, slightly. I've emailed Cloud Vocal about it. They're like, yeah, don't worry, it's normal. Just make sure that your volume is not too high. If it's speaking here, turn it down and you should be fine. So I'll show you how to change that as well. So once that's done, and the Eversync is on and ready to go. I've got a small power button here on the body pack. That is where you charge it by USB. This is the power button. Just press and hold that. See the blue light comes on there. And that means that we are connected. We've got a blue light here. Get that in focus. Got a blue light there, blue light there. Obviously this is already um, synced up because I've used it before, but I'll link a couple of videos in the description below um, on how to sync this up. It's very easy, very straightforward. And then all you need to do, take your in-ear headphones of your choice, plug them in, and you should be good to go. Now we'll move on to using this with the iSolo Prime microphone. So now we'll have a look how I use my Eversync um, wireless IEM with my iSolo Prime microphone. Um, before we do that, just to remind you that the Eversync it comes with two in, two out and a flexible signal connection. So you can switch the output with input one or input one plus two. Additionally, the DI, which we find here, um, and through output, which are next to each other on the side, enable performance to have limitless options for using Eversync. So what does this mean is that you can send different signals to different locations. A mixing desk, a direct speaker, maybe you want to send a signal to a singer that's using a wedge monitor or something like that. So we've got um, various options. Also the body pack, it comes with, uh, well, it provides an eight hours of better life. I haven't used it for that long, but I've used it easily for two or three hours without any issues. I haven't even charged it um, since the first charge when I got it and I've used it, so it's still running. I've used it a few times, maybe a couple of gigs that were like two or three hours long, and I've had no issues with it. Um, it also has, as I mentioned, the USB-C charging, but also this, besides charging, the function of it, it also serves as a USB audio port for streaming or content creation, which comes in very handy when you're creating um, content such as what I'm doing here. It also provides a 100 milliwatt headphone output with a selectable volume limiter, um, offering power without harm. So as I've mentioned earlier, it, if it starts cutting out while using it, it means that the volume is um, too high that is coming in or going out of the Eversync. And now I will also show you how to adjust that after I connect everything. So moving on, we can see that we've got input one and two here. Nothing is selected on them, okay? Once I plug in 
to input two and the back here a mini jack to plug in my playback device for my tracks or anything that I'm using and I'll start playing that you see that there's a volume on channel two we can see a line there on channel two in terms of my microphone um, I'll just take a jack to jack cable quarter inch jack and I'll go DI line out from my iSolo Prime into input one into the Eversync. Once I do that, I'll turn on my iSolo Prime microphone and you can see there's a signal. There we go. There's a signal coming in there as well. Now the signal is quite low. Um, I'm talking into it right now, um, but I will show you how to adjust that. So to adjust the signal, as we can see, level two, it's a bit too high, which is not what I, prefer, what I would like to see. So if I'll go on audio here, that is for channel one, but we have the playback device coming in on channel two. So we need to turn that down. So now I'm on channel two. And if I just turn down that to three, so I'll use the wheel to rotate and then press to select what I want to do. And now that is lower and it should be easier on our ears. If I'll press it, if I'll press again, I'll go back to channel one. And that was a bit low, so I'll turn that up a little bit, maybe from five, I'll put that to seven. And that should do the trick. So now, as we can see, the volume of the audio playback, it's more reasonable. And if I'll speak back into the microphone, um, it's at a more decent level. And you can see both of them. Um, moving up and down there. So that's how I use my Cloud Vocal iSolo Prime microphone with the Eversync IEM. Also, as I've mentioned earlier, the mute switch is here. And if you just press that, that turns to red. And if you press it again, that is unmuted. In terms of sending out a signal from the Eversync Cloud Vocal to a mixing desk or directly to a speaker or whatever you need, super simple. As I've mentioned before, you've got a DI and a quarter inject through. You just take your XLR cable, plug that in there, and that sends out a signal straight away. So just a quick recap, the Eversync Cloud Vocal um, it's Cloud's Vocal's newest and first IEM product um, with 5.0 GHz wireless system. It's a perfect match with the iSolo system for performers who, accept, who expect a complete wireless setup. Um, this is what I've been using for the last couple of months. Now I've had this for a couple of months and it's been working incredibly, incredibly well for me. Um, the broadcasting settings allows multiple receivers to simultaneously, simultaneously have 2.4 bits or 48 kilohertz high quality audio um, with less than 5 milliseconds of latency. So you can connect four body packs to just one um, Eversync uh, system. So that's it for today's unboxing and review. Hope you found it informative, hope you liked it. Feel free to go and check out the rest of my channel for other reviews and unboxing for products from Cloud Vocal. You should be able to find more information about the Cloud Vocal iSolo Prime, their directional antenna, their latest spring clip, and some other products that um, I have reviewed on my channel from Cloud Vocal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.